Hello, it's Saturday the 7th of December 2019 and welcome back to the channel and today it's a corporate Christmas party for our local Land Rover and Jaguar dealership and we've even got their own balloons. Let's have a little look at what we've got as far as lights goes. We've got the uh, giant Xmas, as we saw before. Red, green, red, green. A bit bright in this at the moment. Forgot to actually see them. Um, but uh, got the two Yamaha DXR 12s. Um, I did get a comment on a picture I posted. These are not my subs. Um, and the speakers at the top of the back have nothing to do with me either. They were the hotel's old uh, PA system. They don't work anymore. So I basically use those subs as speaker stands. Why not? Um, they're bolted in and <laughs> they're not going anywhere. Uh, anyway, so what have I got? got two DXR12s. Um, above the DXR12 is the Chauvet FX Wash 2, which I'm using to cover the room. Instead of having par cans all the way around, um, doing up lighting, I'm using the two FX uh, wash, wash FX twos on the top of both of the speakers which are attached via the fly points and they are covering the whole of the room. Underneath the speakers I have um, two par cans on either side. Uh, they're set up uh, sound to light and uh, master slave. Um, they're also they're the ADJ uh, uh, Mega Tripar Profile Plus uh, ones. At the back, um, I have uh, an ultra, not an ultra bar. I've got a uh, Chauvet four bar LTBT, which I got for this season, um, because basically I want to have a drop backdrop behind me, all lit up. Um, I didn't want to have to put um, the ultra bars down the back. One of nice and easy setup this year, so I've done that. Gives the same effect. Room looks amazing. As usual, DJing on the uh, Pioneer XDJ RX2. If you haven't seen my RX2 videos, there's a link there. There's a series uh, which explains uh, some of the features and functions on them. I've got the JTS wireless microphones, which are fabulous, supplied by Sound Innovations. Um, I have this little thing here is basically a little light, okay? LED light, rechargeable LED light. Um, I put that on top of the case at the back so that when it gets dark, uh, if it gets too dark ever, then uh, I can still see everything where I am. Um, to the left of me here, my Pioneer um, headphones and I've got my little hardware USB point there as well. Uh, so that's about it up on this stage. So we're all set, ready to go. I think it's about 20 minutes until, uh, until we go live. Going to dim the, the main lights um, and uh, get the party going. Oh, the, the uh, bar at the back, that's, that will be set sound to light when we go um, for the main disco part. And obviously I'll switch on the bar lights in between to give some lighting effect on the dance floor. So I believe that's it now. Um, see how it goes. You'll see in a minute if it worked. So when the food's finished, um, a couple of things happen at these uh, Christmas parties. One, we draw the raffle, and I'll show you that in a, in a future gig log. Um, but this week, I'm going to show you the next part, which is the results of the Christmas quiz, because we have a tie break and we have a bit of fun and games, and it gets everybody up. It breaks the atmosphere and it gets a bit of excitement into the room. So basically what I do is during the meal, I've dropped around a set of questions. Um, each table's answered them. Um, some people have put their names on who they want to come up and collect the, uh, the prize, which is a bottle of Prosecco. What they don't realise is that strangely enough, most nights, well every night I've ever done it, there's been a tie break. And I make sure I've got a couple of hula hoops handy and uh, we have a bit of fun. Have a look. The Christmas quiz. Okay, we have a tie break. So I need team quiz on me, Amy. Amy from 
tinkers on me? Okay, I need you to come down the front please, thank you. I need Martin, table with no name. Martin? Stand in front, yeah. Martin, there we go, Martin, regulars. And I've got Team Rich, which is Charlotte. With Charlotte, come on down. All right, in true Lion Hotel style, when we have a time break, we have wheel hoops! So, okay, I need an independent adjudicator that can operate their phone to time this for me. Can I have a volunteer, please? Somebody to operate as an official timekeeper. Is that Oliver? Yeah. Fabulous. Everybody, round of applause, our official timekeeper, Oliver. <laughs> Orange or green? <laughs> Orange. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Whichever. It's not green. <laughs> okay. Do you want to have a practice first? No, oh, about okay. Everybody, you can have a practice if you want to practice. We can have a practice. This is a practice. One, two, three, go. Oh. Are we going to take bets on this? <laughs> go and have a second practice. Oh. We're going to do further away. You want to hit that and stop it from swimming. Okay, you ready for the main one now? Yeah, we're going for it. Okay. Everybody, let's hear you. Let's get some cheering going, okay? On the countdown, five, four, three, two, one! Well done. I don't think we expected that. <laughs> you thought you did, did you? No, well done. Okay, are you conceding or are you going for it? You're going to go for it. Do you want to practice? No, it has to be around the waist. It has to be around the waist. <laughs> are, we, are, we are, we, are we, is this a practice or the official thing? Practice, okay. No, because we're tying it. it no, you've got it to your practice. <laughs> oh, do you want another practice? <laughs> you can use whichever one you want to use. Okay, there's no problem at all. They're both round hula hoops. I didn't realise it's quite as. A, as I gave the young girl one. Let's hear some cheering in that. Come on. Okay. Make this a good one. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, three.
Now I'm forcing it now. So we have a winner. What's your name? Charlotte, congratulations. You are this year's champion. And here's your bottle of Prosecco. Go ahead and go. Let's hear it, everybody. Let's go. So once we've finished the festive activities, it's on with the disco. And uh, in this case, for this corporate uh, gig, I was given a playlist. And that playlist was about um, four and a half hours long. Um, and I had a two hour slot left, so that was fine. Plenty of music. Uh, they were requesting the tunes they wanted played. They came up, they were asking for stuff. I said, point it out on the playlist, and I'll put it on the list. And, uh, and that's how it went. It was a nice, relaxed event. Um, they seem to all enjoy it. I enjoyed it. Anyway, have a look at the dancing bit. So that was the second Christmas party of the season and that was a corporate uh, Christmas party which was great. Um, I've DJed for that group before, um, they've uh, provided me with a playlist. It was about four and a half hours long the playlist, only had two hours to do so plenty there. They were coming up requesting for the playlist so I was playing that. It worked really well, they all seemed to have a good time, feedback was fabulous and I enjoyed it as well. Um, so pretty pretty standard corporate Christmas party from my perspective but um, anyway uh, if you've got any questions about it if you've got any comments uh, if you've got any thoughts please stick them in the uh, in the in the comments section below um, also don't forget I've got the new hashtag questions uh, section which is out every Sunday um, had quite a few questions over the last uh, week or so which is fabulous thank you very much for everybody who's done that also thank you for everybody who commented uh, on my last uh, Christmas gig log um, uh, welcome me back and all of that really appreciated um, so um, and just to let you know yes I was a little bit nervous before starting off again doesn't matter how long you've done it or how many you've done um, uh, it just gives you that edge doesn't it so hey Anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you did, one of these. If not, one of these. Um, maybe you could consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you do, don't forget to turn on the bell. And until next time, JP out. <laughs>